if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 71 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with a home game in the Barclays Premier League against Aston Villa. We're in a very, very busy part of the season right now. You can see just how many fixes we have. I'm almost praying to God that we don't actually get selected for the England national side because I really don't want to play in these. It might be nice to have a week off and rest before the Newcastle game, but we're definitely playing against Villa. I don't know whether we'll be playing against Fiorentina considering it's two days later, so we we might play against Villa again in this time in the FA Cup in the quarterfinals to then in the next episode play Fiorentina to then maybe play Chelsea. I just don't know. I have absolutely no idea what games we're going to be selected for. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take myself off halfway through this uh, Aston Villa game, depending on the scoreline, to try and play against Fiorentina. But I, I just don't know whether it might be worth waiting and then just having an impact on the uh, you know on the next Villa game with full health or full stamina and then have full stamina for the next Fiorentina game but then I want to be fit for the Chelsea game because that could be crucial for the Barclays Premier League title race as you can see it's extremely close so it's a busy time and we'll just have to wing it and play it by ear but uh, we're going to jump into this game against Villa now if you enjoyed today's episode make sure that you drop this video a thumbs up rating and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already there's been plenty of videos going up over the past few days the West Ham career mode series has continued to go on every single day at 4 p.m so if you missed it check it out there's uh, it's all over the uh, the Chesney Gaming YouTube channel, so check the channel page itself for that. But for now, let's jump into this game against Villa, try and get ourselves three points, and maybe, just maybe, Chelsea will lose two games back to back, and we can actually, you know, open up a gap to them in second. Ali Sissoko down the left for Villa, into Robinson, across to Ashley Westwood, across to Charles and Zogbia, who get a shot off on his left foot. He instead gives it to Westwood, who flashes it over the bar. I don't know why Enzogby didn't have a shot there. That would have been a perfect opportunity for him on his left to maybe try and pull it across into the far top corner. Never mind. Decided to do the unselfish thing, which is actually un Charles Enzogby, I like to be honest. But did the unselfish thing and passed it to a teammate. But unfortunately, said teammate wasn't able to get the shot on target. Darren Gibson on a run. There's space up wide for Bakary Sacco if he can use him. Decided to go to Funes Marie instead. Fire Cleverly. Nice move by Cleverly. Out wide to Joao Delefeu. Probably going to have to come back inside, and he has done. I'll call this here from Cleverly. We could have a bit of space here. If I could get it out of my feet, I could have sworn that was going to bury itself in the bottom corner. I absolute, was absolutely certain that that was going to bury itself in the bottom corner as soon as it left my boot. Unfortunately, it drifted past the post. Never mind. Chance at each end now. Nil nil after 12 minutes. Corner for Aston Villa. Charles and Zogbia to take it. Gave the opportunity to a teammate last time he had the ball in a dangerous position. This time, tried to do the same, although he didn't really have much choice from a corner. But still, they may end up having a chance in the end if they can work this opportunity again from the uh, from just outside the box, about 40 or 50 yards. Actually, Adama Traore has done very well, and it took a good save from Tim Howard to stop them from taking the lead. Another corner then for Aston Villa. That was very well worked. Adama Traore, very, very fast, but didn't need to overly sprint too hard there to actually get the opportunity. Ayu almost got there at the near post. Good attempt from Gary Gardner on the edge of the box, but sadly for him, wide of the mark. Baines, Sacco's moved down the line, but he's not going to be found yet. Uh, go on then, we'll give this to Abubakar. He's in a decent bit of space, could help it on to me, and has done, and we'll give it to Darren Gibson. This is a nice move. Can Gibson find Abubakar in the box? He's trying, and it's not the best of crosses. Cleared away by Adama Traore, but I'll try and win this header if I can. We have done. We've gotten it to Bakary Sacco, who's worked it back to me. I can't resist a shot from distance. And we couldn't do it again, but uh, Sommer with a decent save. Good saves at both ends this time, uh, or in the game so far, by uh, Tim Howard and Matt Sommer. We'll see if we can do anything from a corner. Villa weren't able to. That is not going to be claimed by the keeper. And Kieran Clark can only turn it behind for another corner. This is quite a competitive game. Didn't expect it, to be honest, against Villa. Uh, well, judging by their real-life form, at least. That's headed my way. Keeper's come. And my guy wouldn't jump, apparently. Bakuna heads it clear. I'll go in support for Mason Holgate, but there isn't too many options here. He will give it to me. I see Tom Cleverley. We'll try and drill it out to him. I've given it straight to Charles and Zogbia. Now Jordan Ayew can come away on the counter-attack for Villa. Hope my mistake doesn't cost us in the in the long run. That's a lovely ball out wide to Robinson. It could cost us in the long run if his first touch had been a little bit better. Thankfully, to spare my blushes, Mohamed Besic was able to uh, to intervene. But I see I see him making a run there, Abubakar. We'll try and find you. 
What can he do here? This is a ridiculously entertaining first half so far. How there haven't been any goals to this point, I don't know. It's been plenty of chances and a lot of end-to-end -end stuff. A lot of the games recently here at Everton have been pretty end-to-end. -end. It's been very, very good since we uh, quote-unquote came, quote unquote, came back from Bayern Munich. Uh, Squeeze that to cleverly again. Can he get a turn in and a shot? He's tried the shot. It's not quite worked. We'll try and knock that to him again. We have done shot blocked. Another corner. Wow. We will get a goal in this game. We're determined. We'll see if uh, Bakary Sako can find a teammate this time. Uh, that is not headed my way. Keeper's punched it clear. And this time it is going to be the end of the highlight eventually. Oh, I like that through ball. We'll give it to Delefeu. I didn't think that through ball was going to come off, but I'm quite pleased with it. Oh, Gerard, surely not. Oh, what a save from Sommer. It's going to be a corner. He's doing a Morales. He's doing a Kevin Morales at the near post. Lovely little dribble. We said that Morales was the dribbling genius in the last episode. Delefeu, almost as good. Not quite. We actually might find ourselves in a bit of trouble here if Robinson can get this away quickly. Luckily, cleverly brings it down. We may still have an opportunity of our own. If you can thread that through. Darren Gibson. Darren Gibson. Oh, finish, Sunshine. 1-0 Everton after 52 minutes. Extremely good goal. We didn't get anything from the corner. I'm trying to celebrate with him. I can't touch him, apparently. But Sacco, he took it under control. And Gibson just made the right run. And it's a perfectly weighted through ball. But to put it right in the top corner from there. Gorgeous finish from Darren Gibson. That's Everton 1, Aston Villa 0. We're on our way towards three points. Fred into Jordan Ayew. Back to Fred. Is he going to go down the line? No, he tried to kick it straight against the man next to him. Never mind, Tom Cleverley on the breakaway. Kevin Morales, I am completely out of stamina now. My guy is absolutely shattered, but we didn't start this game with 100% stamina, so there's going to be no point taking myself off because I'm still going to be too tired to play against Fiorentina, even if I take myself off at half-time. So we might as well just soldier on and uh, try and finish this game as strong as we possibly can. Extend the lead as well if we can. That would be nice, just to give us that extra little bit of cushion between ourselves and Villa. Leandro Rodriguez made a good run there, but cleverly wasn't able to find him. Maybe we can turn it back this way. I see the man in there. Give it to Darren Gibson. Scored one. Oh, he's gone for a second, but it's flashed over the top of the bar on his left foot. Never mind. 15 minutes left to go. Been a, a really competitive game, this one, actually. We've had a few competitive games recently that uh, we've just been able to sneak by a goal or two. So uh, hopefully that can be uh, the same case here as well. Fredge. Pushing forward, nice ball over the top, knocked on by Robinson, hit off and Dogbia. Wow. I don't know whether Howard got a touch on that, but it definitely hit the post. It is a corner. Howard definitely made a decent save there then. Got down well to it to push it onto the woodwork. That was an important save from our veteran goalkeeper. We'll see if we can get this away. They brought on Micah Richards for Ali Sissoko. I probably would have started Micah anyway, personally, but never mind. Robinson's header from the corner has gone well over the top of the bar. Not what he was expecting or anticipating there at all. But thank you, Mr. Bald Man. <laughs> Tim Howard with a very good, another replay of it here. That's such a vital save. Keeps us in front for the final 10 minutes. And hopefully that should be us home and dry if we can just keep it away from them for the final few. Final whistle's gone. In the end, it is a 1-0 victory for us here at home against Aston Villa. We'll take it. That's good enough. Three points are three points, as we always say. It was a slim uh, game, actually. Slim margin of victory, and they came very close. We needed Tim Howard on hand, actually. Chelsea get a big win against Derby. That's going to sway their goal difference in their favour and will put them top of the table, actually, thinking about it. We were only plus one goal difference-wise better than them heading into that fixture. So that's actually not done us any favours there by only winning by a single goal. Uh, I'll quickly check the league table for Chelsea. you when it eventually lets me move again. Come on, there we go. Don't know whether it does that for you guys as well. It takes forever for the menus to load as you uh, get two or three seasons into a career mode. This is obviously season three. But, yep, there you go. Chelsea top of the table themselves by plus one goal difference. Oh, cheeps, this is going to be a battle right to the end, isn't it? Eight games to go, and it's going to go either way. This is ridiculous. Never mind. Oh, come on, it's going to take forever again. Right, we'll push forward. We probably won't be selected for this Florentina game. I would bet money on it. There we go. Ross Barkley, though, is a very good replacement, so hopefully he can do the job. We'll see how we get on in this first leg. We are at home, so a clean seat would be preferable. No away goals for Fiorentina. We kept a clean sheet against Sevilla. Can we do it against Italian opposition rather than Spanish? They're playing that pointed uh, arrow formation. Oh, shit me. Leighton Bain sent off after 76 minutes. Geraint, uh, is it Gethin? Gethin Jones injured after 76 minutes as well, which is odd. And uh, Ross, Giuseppe Rossi and uh, Suarez, Mario Suarez, isn't it? Actually, from or formerly of Atletico Madrid, get two goals from Fiorentina, have a strong lead in the Europa League. Not what we needed at all. 
Really not what we needed. Never mind, letting Bane suspended. Yes, well spotted. We have been selected though for the next game against Villa. This one is away. However, this one is for a place at Wembley in the semi-final. So uh, this is pro pro well, considering the league situation, I don't know whether it's more important or just as important or actually not as important as uh, the game in the league against Villa. Regardless, we want to win it anyway. Jordan Ayew breaking away at the beginning of the game. Oh, lovely tackle by Pennington. Needed to be made as well because Jordan A was just about to play Jack Grealish in behind. Gorgeous ball with the outside, the right foot from me though. Abubakar's in the box. Abubakar in a dangerous position. Vincent Abubakar very early on. Another assist for us to Abubakar. When he first joined, he got a couple giving me the ball and we were able to put the ball in the back of the net. That ball over. I'm so impressed with that. The outside, the foot from my guy. But the finish from Abubakar actually was very well taken as well. Nice to see him confident again in the early stages of the game. That's when he got his first goal against Valencia, wasn't it? Uh, Valencia? Sevilla. In uh, the opening few moments of the game and uh, putting his hands through Aaron Lennon's arse. But never mind. We'll, uh, we'll continue on. We're 1-0 up in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Corner for Villa. They had a few in the first game. Can they actually convert one of them this time around? Decent ball in. Luke Garber had to turn that behind. It's a bit of a rotation side being played here. Joel Robles, Luke Garber involved. There's Pennington as well as we saw a moment ago. That's a good corner. Really, Andrew Bakuna, weird technique. Probably would have been better off going with his left there or at least trying to take it down and then hit it on his right. But regardless, got the effort on target. Abubakar wins that header. Can... Oh, he can't win the foot race. Can't win the foot race. Never mind. We'll stay 1-0 up for now. 10 minutes in. Could be another entertaining game against Aston Villa this. Vera 2 to Carlos Hill to Vera 2. Oh, that's a great ball out wide to Grealish. Odds, that's, oh, that deserved a goal. That really deserved a goal. What a move from Aston Villa. The ball across from Jack Grealish out wide was just delicious. If Jordan A would just played it on the floor rather than trying to get it over the top of the goalkeeper and get it in the roof, it would have been 1-1 one, one, one there for sure. And I wouldn't have been disappointed at that at all. That was a phenomenal move. We may, if Abubakar could put the pressure on, no, nope, get ourselves a counter-attacking goal to go 2-0 up. It, works against, it worked against Cardiff a couple of videos ago. There are two down the right in the box. Again in the middle. This time, Carlos Hill gets on the end of it, and it is 1-1. Aston Villa plays such great football. They really do. One of the best sides we've played against in recent times, to be completely honest. We have played some decent teams in the past few episodes as well, but that was a very well-worked goal. The chance before was very well-worked as well, but this time they have managed to get it beyond the goalkeeper. Questionable goal keeping from Joel Robles, but still, Aston Villa won, Everton won. Garba, to me, we'll play it in front of Cleverly, he can run onto it, oh, nice run by Aaron Lennon on the right hand side, he's had to go out to Mason Holgate though, Lennon's still making moves, he's found me instead, oh, I'm so tempted to have a shot, I won't though, there's not much space, we'll give it to Darren Gibson, he's had the shot, oh, -hoo -hoo! lovely finish on the turn, a second assist for us, we're only 29 minutes in, there's already been three goals, this is almost as good as the Arsenal-Liverpool game in real life the other day. Lovely game of football, this. Really entertaining. Pass it into Darren Gibson. And what a finish. Just sweeps that home. Really good finish. We're back in front, lads. Everton 2, Aston Villa 1. Fred coming down the right-hand side. It's been such a quiet second half in comparison to the first. It's like everybody got worn out from the end-to-end uh, -end stuff in the first half. And nothing much has really happened in the second. Oh, what a ball. Carlos Sanchez offside. And that was an odd technique from Jack Grealish as well. Comes back off the post. That ball from Micah Richards, though, that was incredible. All the way down towards the edge of the box. It's a shame he was offside because that was phenomenal. Just first time, bang. Oh, it's borderline as well. Mason Holgate could have played it. I, that was, I'd like to have seen that like bang on the line because that looked very tight. Jack Grealish goes off and Adama Traore comes on. So a lot of pace added into their, uh, their wide areas. We've just brought on Leandro Bakuna. Not Leandro Bakuna, what we're talking about. Leandro Rodriguez for, uh, for Vincent Abubakar. So we have a new man up top. We're quite tired still. I'm contemplating taking myself off for the final 10 minutes, but I really don't know whether I should because I want to be fit for Fiorentina, but at the same time, I don't want to miss anything on the pitch here and miss the opportunity to either seal the game or at least help defensively to try and keep our 2-1 lead. We're being a little bit cautious when it comes to uh, to getting forward and a little bit nervy at the back. As you can see there, Mason Holgate perhaps taking an unnecessary risk there. We've made another substitution, have we? Yes, Tyce Browning's come on for Funes Marie. Right, counter-attack. Now is where we need to actually be clinical with our passing and our runs and our timing of runs and the direction of the run as I go offside. I'll call for the cross. I can't quite get there. Matt Selma comes out and claims it. Seven minutes to go in this second half. And to be fair, it could go either way. Nobody's really created anything, but it is only going to take one chance to decide whether this 
is uh, going to stay 2-1, go to 3-1, or force us into a replay with a 2-2 draw. Leandro Rodriguez looks like he's going to hold it in the corner. I'm, oh, I was going to say I'm quite happy for him to do so, but that wasn't the best of shielding, was it? Is he going to do a Morales? No, he's actually passed the ball. Leandro Rodriguez is going to have to use him again, though, because defenders have closed him down. Where do I go? You can make me run, Aaron? I'll play it in front of you so that you kind of make a run. Is he going to go to the corner? I'll go down the line if he'll play me in. No, he's gone back the other way. Fair enough. Delefeu might go to uh, Leandro Rodriguez. I keep calling to call Leandro Rodriguez Bacuna because I've been saying Leandro Bacuna for the whole game. Uh, Rodriguez is uh, just kind of cut off there up top, to be honest. He's not really gotten into the game. When he tried to, he kicked the ball off the pitch a moment ago. But there goes the final whistle. We are going to get a 2-1 win in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Our... Uh, I guess quest for the treble continues although we are 2-0 down now against Fiorentina we'll try and turn that around in the second leg if we possibly can uh, time will tell that'll be in the next episode on Thursday but for now thank you very much for watching drop this video a like if you enjoyed they actually had more chances than us in that game we were maybe quite lucky to get through but yeah drop this video a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days of course whether it be this series or the brand new uh, West Ham career mode series with that's live as well with face cam too but for now that's all from me so thank you very much for watching I'll be streaming tonight as well though over on twitch.tv forward slash Chesnoy Gaming so feel free to follow me over there if you haven't already links in the description follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook as well but for now I'll see you next time